I was watching SQ today uh, for quite a long time. Now it comes to the point where it pulled back up and there's a small reversal here as you can see. Take a look at the daily. Well, I'll show you that later. I'll talk about that later because it's very important to combine both the daily and the intraday. Now, again, this reversal point is something uh, of great interest for me. Initially, as you can see, it started with a very small gap down, but came down with quite a nice momentum. All red candles. These are one minute candles. Now, it came down in a way that I couldn't join the trade. I couldn't short it the way it came down because there was a good chance of a pullback and the pullback did happen. Now, it's coming back after a pullback and I'm getting ready to short, shorting now. I'm short 4,000 shares. And my stop is going to be around here, 69.20, I guess, something like that. So around 60 cents stop loss, a little bit less than 60 cents stop loss. That's the risk I'm trading. I'm taking. Therefore, I should be looking for a target of uh, close to 68, some, some, somewhere above 68. So far, it looks good. It's coming down. The market's also coming down. The market's trending lower and looks like SQ may reach my target soon. So I'm getting ready for a partial here. But um, and here we go. Let's close. I'm going to cover 3,500 shares. I'm looking for 68.10 or so. It just touched 68.13. That was very, very close. Okay, sellers are coming down, 25 now. Buyers at 68.18. Always watch the level two. Always watch the level two. Big sellers at 29. Look at the big sellers at 29. Well, no longer. Well, I may have to go through a pullback here. But I trust the trend of the market to continue and I trust the trend of SQ to continue and SQ does look like it's trending lower. It just touched a new low and uh, hopefully it will continue. Until then, let's talk a little bit more about SQ here. Again, I was initially interested in SQ because of the daily. Well, I saw the intraday momentum and then I watched the daily. And the intraday momentum, as you can see here again, I'm going to talk about that now once more because it's very important to notice that these are all red candles. A very small pullback here, but that doesn't really give you a good technical entry. I needed a pullback before I move in. So that's the pullback I've got here. That's the only one I can see. Once I had that pullback, I was ready to short the stock. I couldn't short it before because when the stock is coming down that much with such a momentum, it's very, very likely to pull back. Now that's a huge pullback. You can see that it started all the way at 68.10 approximately, up to 60.50. So we're talking, uh, six, sorry, 69.50. So that's more approximately $1.30, $1.40 or so. I wouldn't have survived that if I would have moved in before a pullback. So you always wait for a pullback. And then if the market trend continue to be down and the stock trends lower, and again, you've got a good reversal, a good technical reversal, you can go short, just like I did. Now, as you can see, it's coming back very close to my entry point here. I really hope it's not going to get much higher than that. But again, I need to trust the market direction and I need to trust the stock direction and tell you what. I've got more than 60% success rate in that trade just because of the trend. The trend is our best friend and I really do hope I'm going to see SQ coming down a little bit more now. I'm looking for another leg down now and I think I just have that and we just touched a new low. We just touched a new low. Recent low was 68.12. That's a good sign. We just touched a new low. I would hate to see a pullback. I hate pullbacks. But you know, earlier... It was very, very close to my target. Maybe I should have taken my partial by then. But that was really fast and I was really hoping I'm going to see it coming down under $68. But again, the trend is our best friend and now it's coming back down. Just touched a new low. That's a good sign. And now we're getting very, very close to the, to the low again. Again, watch the buyers and the sellers at all times. Watch the buyers and the sellers. Level 2 is very, very important data. 
I'm getting ready to cover 3,600 shares while it break down under the lows. And here's the lows. Touch and under. Great. 68 and under 68. Good. That is exactly what I was looking for. I'm trying to get a little bit more now, but if it's going to pop up a little bit, I'm going to take my partial. Like if it's going to move. Okay, now. I was about to say that if it's going to move over 68.10, which was my, my original target, I, I will I will have to click the button and it just did. Well, I was risking uh, 60 cents. I got my partial at 50 cents. So I was really hoping a little bit uh, for a little bit more than that. But I still have left 400 shares and that would bring me, I hope, to uh, my one to one risk reward ratio. That's that's my normal risk reward ratio. Anyway, that was a very nice trade and I really hope it's going to continue and I'm still holding 400 shares. Let's see what, what comes next. So here are the results. Uh, look at this huge breakdown. Finally happened under 68, actually just touching 67 then and under and under. That is a, an amazing trade and I just covered 300 of my 400 shares and uh, really hoping for some more continuation here. So the long run really is the last 400 shares that I have. And when I say long run, I mean a few more minutes or maybe a few more hours really. Now, just take a look at uh, the daily chart of uh, SQ because you usually take a good look. You usually take a look at the intraday and then you move to the daily. That's what I do anyway. So that's the breakdown here. It looks like it just broke down under support. The stock is downtrending. It's uh, moving down. It broke down dramatically, as you can see today. But also, when you take a good look at the daily, the combination of the intraday and the daily is what's important. Take a look at this trend. Stock is trending lower. That was my entry point right over here. And uh, the continuation is due to two reasons. One is the daily chart because it's a breakdown. And the second is the market direction. Market is coming down. Therefore, our chance to make money today in SQ were greater. And I'm very, very glad that uh, lots of my trading room members took that trade. Again, take a good look at the daily. A good combination of intraday trade and daily. That is a great ingredient for a good trade. Before we move ahead, let's take a quick look at our Black Friday sales. It already started, so you can join us. You can trade live with me in my trading room. Trade the same stocks I trade live. Every stock I trade is posted in the trading room before I take it, like SQ today and more. So here's the intro program where you can join us for just $375. And that will give you all the education need. And it also comes with a funded $14,000 account. And of course, there's other programs too. Just go to tradenet.com and join us. That's a great opportunity to join us. I'm watching CFX here. CFX was just posted in the trading room. And that just looks, well, what can I say? Just too good to be true. Well, firstly, stock is trending down. The volume is great, over 1 million shares. Look at the daily breakdown. And look at that support area here, 2515. It just moves up by one or two cents, maybe more a little bit. But then it comes back down and it is supported at the 2515 area. I mean, does it get any better than that? Isn't that like the definition of a support line? Would you like to short something that looks like that? And it goes all the way back. Look at here. Look at that point. Same spot, 2515. So I'm looking to short it under 2515. And it looks like it's coming down. Okay, I'm short. Just shorted it. 4,000 shares. I'm waiting for a big move. And hopefully I'm going to get it. Uh, initially... It did not move as much as I expected. Actually popped up now a few cents. Well, that may be a problem. You know, sometimes when something looks too good to be true, it is too good to be true. And okay, it's coming down now. New lows is 25 and we've got it. That's the move. That's the move I was looking for. Look at the volume too. Look at the volume. Look at the volume growing here and I need to see it under $25 and a little bit more than that. Looking for around 20 cents. $25 is the whole number, so it may get supported here. That was something I was worried of. So I'm watching, and we're under. Good, 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 good. More sellers, more sellers. Look at the level two. 
look at the sellers at 99 it's gonna come down and it did 90 now at my target any pullback now I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover 3,000 shares out of my 4,000 oh click the button well a little bit less than I wanted it really moved up quite fast I, th I still think it's gonna come down dramatically I still think it's just the start and that's why I left 1,000 shares I think it's going to continue so I took a small partial right now and I think it's just about to hit a new low 18.9 is the new low well I'll wait for it and then I'll start covering uh, I'll continue covering my 1,000 uh, shares but again go back to the support line when you see something that looks like that you can't ignore it 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 can't be ignored that's a perfect support line just the perfect it doesn't come any prettier than that just doesn't come any prettier than that when you see something like that you have to click the button there's no other way you cannot avoid it and we just moved to a new low and I'm getting ready to cover more that was a great trade and I really want to thank uh, my trading room members for posting this one up so you know usually I'm the one who's posting some trades but uh, well I wouldn't say that around 50% of my trades are being posted by other people in the trading room it really is just a great community and you can join us too just click the link here and join us for free 14 day trial be with us in the trading room trade with us live every day CRM's technical formation just looks amazing I love that it has some support here at the lows the lows is 123.52 and uh, it's just coming down under 123.18 I think I could I could short it right over here I'm shorting 400 shares right now expecting it's going to come down under the lows I mean a technical formation like that as you can see buyers are coming but the sellers are getting more and more aggressive stocks coming down getting closer to the lows and it's bound to move under and again for two main reasons the technical formation of CRM for the downside looks great the stock is downtrending the daily looks good the market is coming down so everything clicks in together so that's a great combination of an intraday breakdown formation markets moving down and everything just connects CRM is very likely to break down and again you need to anticipate a low again take a good look at here, here at the lows see how the sellers are getting more and more aggressive we're getting closer and closer to the breakdown point and we're very very likely to break down really soon so I'm anticipating the low I'm not shorting it at the point of the breakdown now if you take a look at five minute candles it looks great that doesn't look exactly like the one minute candles we've just seen but that looks like a very very nice bear flag formation and as you can see it's tested the lows several times and very likely therefore to continue so I'm short 400 shares and um, I hope to see some continuation once it moves under the lows and here comes a breakdown just broke down under the lows I shorted it earlier at 12370 I already got uh, 50 cents approximately I'm looking for closer to 123 we are getting there we are getting there I'm very close any pullback now I'm going to over 300 shares of my 400 any pullback look at the sellers at 15 now 27 I'm clicking the button okay uh, a nice uh, small quantity for me trade in CRM broke down anticipated CRM going for a new low and I'm really am having a very very nice day just three trades all green CFX left 200 shares 600 dollars CRM very small profit SQ my best trade for the day and just $2,900 a little bit more than one hour thank you very much for watching thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities click here to start your free trial if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.